sacrifice. It will. You are nothing! Where is the champion? Hawk is not with us. Hawk sacrificed his life to save us and strike a decisive blow against Corypheus. The champion is gone. What you've become. The righteous stand before the darkness, and the Maker shall guide them. Forget. Very well. Oh, this is grim. They're going to kill him. Not now, Cole. And find me the man who gave the order. Oh, shit. Blackwall! Get him killed, and I'll feed you your own eyeballs, Inquisitor. My dear, I'm afraid I must ask you for help. Restoring the Chantry will be like trying to steer a sinking vessel through a storm. I really don't think highly of Thedosians. <laughs> the Tifgorifius wins. Finding a new divine will be the least of our problems. With someone always holding their Lyrium leash. Cullen has a chance to break that leash. To prove to himself. <laughs> Make us breath. You give enough, Cullen. I'm not asking you for more. The Inquisition can be your chance to start over. If you want it to be. I don't know if that's possible. It is. <sighs> All right. For Gaspar, Brianna, the Duchess, and Corinthus, right in the dangle bag. Well, remind me to stay on your good side. Don't worry, you're sparkling compared to that lot. A cook here, a footman there. What's it matter, right, so long as there's a book for the throne? A pretty one, sure. But how many lives are worth one empress's arse? Ugh, that place. Should have just thrown in some bees and slammed the doors. I don't know. You want to stop a party, I think you go earwigs. <laughs> I hate those things with their little pinchy butts. Josephine should add that to her paper threats. <laughs> you know the real lesson from all this? Never sleep with an empress. That, and Briala being an idiot, the whole thing would have gone different if that little piss-up wasn't in the middle. That was a mistake on their part. It made everything worse. Wrong way around, Inquisitor. It started worse. Lots of people died before there was a hole in the sky. That's who you're saving, if you get a chance. Maybe remind them not to be idiots. Circle of Magi, the Templars. This cannot be what they intended when it all began. Your determination is admirable. Some men would call it an unattractive trait. I'm not those men. Truer words have not been spoken. Who's using flattery now? <laughs>
insular cliques, snide half-truths, everyone sizing up everyone else. It reminded me of home. I completely understand the feeling, Inquisitor. You're the Inquisitor. I thought you'd be scarier. Mother said you were scary. Some people seem to think I'm the most frightening thing in the world. Mother says they would think the same about me if they knew. Kieran, are you bothering the Inquisitor? Of course not. Did you see what's on his hand, Mother? I did see. It is time to return to your studies, little man. Hmm. <laughs> My son. Never where you expect him to be, naturally. I didn't know you had a son. Why would you? I take great pains to not let my own reputation affect him in any way. To most in the Imperial Court, he's simply a quiet and well-spoken lad. Perhaps the heir of some distant family. But he goes where I go. Worry not, Inquisitor. Kieran is a curious boy, but seldom troublesome. Will his father be joining us as well? I have raised Kieran on my own for quite some time now as was my preference from the start. So, tis but the two of us, Inquisitor. Your fortress is a large place, and you will scarce notice our presence. There's something rather... unusual about him. There is. He is a special lad. It falls to me to protect him from anything and anyone that mean him ill. Most of all, he must be protected from myself. No one could harm him more than I. To think... Until recently, this place stood decrepit. Occupied only by the desperate and the lost. Now it is party to events that threaten to shake the world. I wonder if it is pleased.
my dear. Is it too much to hope that you've brought me the heart of the snowy wyvern? If you want the wyvern's heart, you'll tell me what you're using it for. I can do better, darling. Give me the heart and I'll show you what it's for. Will that suffice? All right. One heart has requested. How kind of you. Please accept this as your payment. I must begin work immediately. You have been a dear friend and I would like you to come with me. This should only take a moment, Inquisitor. I'm here, my darling. Darling, Bastien? Well, shit. There's nothing here now. I can hardly believe it was the Winter Send Ball. My first visit to the Imperial Palace. The Circle sent a dozen of us to entertain the nobility. I was in awe of everyone and everything, and... That's him. Oh. Wow. I, I thought he'd look, well, I don't know, more demonic tentacles and fiery breath. He is a normal boy, Alistair. Ah. Uh -huh. And what does he know of how he was made? He knows his father was a good man. I... I thought you deserved that much. <laughs> He's changed you. Don't be absurd. Make it. We've seen lights coming from the tower. It has to be blood magic. Steal yourselves. Whatever lies inside won't be pretty. You take point. I'll guard your backs. <laughs> Wait! No! Warden Commander Clarell's orders were clear. This is wrong! Remember your oath. In war, victory. In peace, vigilance. In death. I'm sorry. Sacrifice! Oh. Visitor, what an unexpected pleasure. The Elder One showed me how to deal with you in the event you were foolish enough to appear again. That mark you bear, the anchor that lets you pass safely through the veil, you stole that from my master. He's been forced to seek other ways to access the Fade. When I bring him your hand, his gratitude will be...
blood magic. You were right. Thanks to the ritual, the Warden Mages are enslaved to Corypheus. And the Warden Warriors? Sacrificed? I knew the Wardens would go too far. Human sacrifice? Demon summoning? Who looks at this and thinks it's a good idea? The fearful and the foolish. Hawk, they made a mistake, but they thought it was necessary. All blood mages do. Everyone has a story they tell themselves to justify bad decisions. And it never matters. In the end, you are always alone with your actions. I may know where the Wardens are. Eremond fled that way. There's an abandoned Warden fortress in that direction. Adamant. I guess they didn't want to summon a demon army out in public. The Warden and I will scout out Adamant and confirm that the other Wardens are there. We'll meet you back at Skyhold. I tracked that venatory mage back to Adamant Fortress. They're looking at assault options now in the War Room. Thanks for coming. You did well, Varric. The Inquisitor is just who we need. Ah, oh, it's, it's been great. Murderous Wardens, Archdemon attacks, plenty of blood mages and crazy Templars. Just like home. I know how much you hated leaving Kirkwall. This is the ass end of Thetis. You know they eat snails here? Still, I, I think I, uh, I need to finish this out. If it weren't for me and Bartrand, none of this would have happened. So much for changing our lives. That's what happens when you try to change things. Things change. You can't always control how. I tracked the Wardens to Adamant Fortress, Inquisitor. Your specialists have my full report. Any Venatori activity? Adamant Fortress has stood against the Darkspawn since the time of the Second Blight. Fortunately for us, that means it was built before the age of modern siege equipment. A good trebuchet will do major damage to those ancient walls. Have your way in. Best make use of it. We'll keep the main host of demons occupied for as long as we can. It's a worrying lack of specificity there, Commander. There are more of them than I was hoping, Inquisitor. You don't say. Warden Alistair will guard your back. Hawk is with our soldiers on the battlements. 
He's assisting them until you arrive. There's too much resistance on the wall. Our men on the ladders can't get a foothold. If you can clear out the enemies on the battlements, we'll cover your advance. Lay down your weapons and surrender! Never! Wardens, attack! See that they survive this. I'll keep the demons off them as best I can. We are betrayed by the very world we have sworn to protect. The Inquisition is inside, Clarel. We have no time to stand on ceremony. These men and women are giving their lives, Magister. That might mean little in Tavinta, but for the Wardens, it is a sacred duty. It has been many long years, my friend. Too many, Clarel. If my sword arm can no longer serve the Wardens, then my blood will have to do. It will. Stop them! We must complete the ritual! Sure, you can't wait for Clarell to do that. How else are you gonna bind her? Yes, Inquisitor. I want to bind the Warden Commander to a demon. Everyone in this room already knows that. And yes, the ritual requires blood sacrifice. Hate me for that if you must, but do not hate the Wardens for doing their duty. We make the sacrifices no one else will. Our warriors die proudly for a world that will never thank them. And then he binds your mages to Corypheus. Corypheus? But he's dead. These people will say anything to shake your confidence, Clarell. Bring it through! Please! I have seen more than my share of blood magic. It is never worth the cost. I helped fight the Archdemon in Ferelden. Could you consider listening to me? Be ready with the ritual, Clarell. This demon is truly worthy of your strength. The Grey Wardens have a proud history. You stopped the blight at the Silent Plains. 
at Starkhaven and Hunterfell, at Ayersley and Denerin. This world owes you a debt it can never repay. I would not stand against you if I did not know you were being misused. Clarell, we have come so far. You're the only one who can do this. Perhaps we could test the truth of these charges to avoid more bloodshed. Or perhaps I should bring in a more reliable ally. My master thought you might come here, Inquisitor. He sent me this to welcome you. Inquisitor! Destroyed the Grey Wardens. <laughs> you did that to yourself, you stupid bitch. All I did was dangle a little power before your eyes, and you couldn't wait to get your hands bloody. Have served a new god. I will never serve the blight.
Uh, well, this is unexpected. We were falling. Perhaps we landed. No. The Inquisitor did something with the mark. Opened another rift. I think... we're in the Fade. I've seen my father in the Fade. I've seen a demon pretending to be my sister in the Fade. But I've never seen this. It's not how I remember the Fade, either. Perhaps it's because we're here, physically. Instead of just dreaming. The stories say you walked out of the Fade at Haven. Was it like this? I don't know. I still can't remember what happened the last time I did this. Well, whatever happened at Haven, we can't assume we're safe now. That huge demon was right on the other side of that rift Eremond was using. And there could be others. In the real world, the rift with the demons in it was nearby, in the main hall. Can we get out the same way? It beats waiting around for demons to find us, right? There, let's go. Imagine it, to walk in the Fade and survive. What? That can't be. I greet you, Warden. And you, Champion. Divine Justinia. Most holy. Cassandra. Cassandra, you knew the Divine. Is this really her? I... I don't know. It is said the souls of the dead pass through the fate and sometimes linger, but... we know the spirits lie. Be wary, Inquisitor. I don't recall the divine glowing. In my experience, that's something spirits do. You think my survival impossible, yet here you stand alive in the fade yourselves. In truth, Proving my existence either way would require time we do not have. Then simply tell us what you are. I am here to help you. You do not remember what happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, Inquisitor. The big demon Eremond was trying to bring through. Yes. It's nearby. Yes. Well, shit. When you enter the Fade at Heaven... Now is the hour of our victory. Why are you doing this? You, of all people! Keep the sacrifice still. So that mark on your hand, it wasn't sent by Andraste. It came from that orb Corypheus was using. Corypheus intended to rip open the veil, use the anchor to enter the Fade, and throw open the doors of the Black City. Grey Wardens holding the Divine in that vision? Their actions led to her death. I assumed Corypheus took their minds. You've seen it happen yourself. Come on, you can add it to the things to yell at the Wardens about when we get out of here. 
Oh, I intend to. I don't know, to be honest. We survived here, why couldn't she? Whatever she is, she seems to want to help us. What about the demon? She called it the Nightmare. A demon that steals people's fear. Oh, I've got a few I wouldn't mind losing myself. But after what it did to the Wardens, it's going to learn to fear for itself. Boy comes to steal the fear I kindly lifted from his shoulders. You should have thanked me and left your fear where it lay, forgotten. You think the pain will make you stronger. What fool filled your mind with such drivel? The only one who grows stronger from your fears is me. But you are a guest here in my home, so by all means let me return what you have forgotten. think anything you ever did mattered? You couldn't even save your city. How could you expect to strike down a god? Isabella is going to die, just like your family and everyone you ever cared about. I'm going to enjoy killing this thing. This is the breach back in Haven. That's how we... how I escaped. Keep running! I thought it was Andraste sending me from the Fade, but it was the Divine behind me. And then you... she died. Yes. So this can't be the Divine. For all we know, it's working with Corypheus. If you believe that, strike me down. Are you a memory of the Divine? A reflection? If that is the story you wish to tell, it is not a bad one. What we do know is that the mortal Divine perished at the Temple, thanks to the Grey Wardens. What, again? It wasn't their fault! We can debate the depressing details when we get back to Adamant. Which is filled with Wardens who made blood sacrifices to raise a demon army! So what do you, what do you say? Terrible actions are only justified when they're your terrible actions? You tore Kirkwall apart and started the Mage Rebellion! To protect innocent mages, not madmen drunk on blood magic! The Wardens have gone mad. Or maybe they always were. Someone has to stop them. The Wardens are a risk. Send them away before they cause even more trouble. Sweet Maker, could both of you please shut up? We can argue once we've escaped from the giant fear demon. Inquisitor. The Nightmare has found us. All together! I'm with you. It's far too late for that. Your whole life you left everything to more capable hands. The Archdemon, the throne of Ferelden. Who will you hide behind now? Is that all it's got? I've heard worse than that from Morrigan. I am your every fear come to life. 
I am the veiled hand of Corypheus himself. The demon army you fear, I command it. They are bound all through me. Ah, so if we banish you, we banish the demons. Thank you. Every fear come to life. <laughs> we we'll banish the army of demons and exile this cursed creature to the farthest reaches of the fate. The rift! They're almost there! We're not there yet. Stay alert! If you would, please tell Liliana. I am sorry. I failed fail you too. too. You are nothing! You cannot stand against me. You will die in agony! I grow fat on your fear. How do we get by? Go! I'll cover you. No, you were right. The Wardens caused this mess. A Warden must... A Warden must help them rebuild. That's your job. Corypheus is mine. Orc. Say goodbye to Varric for me. Spider. Always the maker death. <laughs> No demon army for Corypheus, it appears. The divine, or her spirit, was right. You know that's not how they see it, though. And they just saw their Inquisitor work another miracle. They came out of this alive. As far as I'm concerned, they can tell whatever stories they like.
I suppose the Inquisitor and his warden friend escaped by the skin of their teeth wouldn't be as good for morale. Inquisitor, the Archdemon flew off as soon as you disappeared. The Venatori Magister is unconscious but alive. Cullen thought you might wish to deal with him yourself. As for the Wardens, those who weren't corrupted helped us fight the demons. We stand ready to help make up for Clorel's tragic mistake. Where is the champion? Hawk is not with us. Hawk sacrificed his life to save us and strike a decisive blow against Corypheus. The champion is gone. He gave his life, not because he'd sworn an oath or been marked as special, but because someone had to do it. Alistair, you're the senior surviving Grey Warden. What do we do now? You stay and do whatever you can to help. Alistair believes that the Wardens are worth saving. And I trust him. You're still vulnerable to Corypheus, and possibly his Venatori. But there are plenty of demons that need killing. After all that, you give them yet another chance? While they do that, I'll report to the Wardens at Weishaupt. Corypheus won't catch us with our trousers down again. Thank you, Your Worship. We will not fail you. Good luck, Inquisitor. Tell Morrigan. Ah. Just tell her I stood there looking foolish. Alistair sent me one final report. He is on his way to Weishaupt. As for the Grey Wardens, they are fighting demons and Red Templars while staying clear of Inatori. You dealt Corypheus a significant blow, Inquisitor. The Grey Wardens carry respect in other nations. If we spread word that the Inquisition has their support... We may gain standing with nations that have suffered under the Blight. I will take the matter to Josephine. While you bested Corypheus here and at Halam Shiral, he himself was not present either time. We fear he is close to finding another way to enter the Fade. I mean to tell you something, though. She said... I'm sorry. I failed you too. Oh. I should finish this before it slips my mind. Perhaps later we might discuss the matter further. Thank you. I wanted to thank you. When you came to see me, if there's anything... This sounded much better in my head. I'll take your word for it. Really, you don't need to thank me. No, I do. I've never told anyone what truly happened to me at Ferelden's Circle. I was not myself after that. I was angry. For years, that anger blinded me. I'm not proud of the man that made me. Now I can put some distance between myself and everything that happened. It's a start. The past isn't always pleasant. Sometimes you have to let go and move on. I can't forget what happened. But it led me here. I can make that mean something. Anyway, I meant to thank you, not trouble you further. You've enough to worry about. How are you holding up? I've met good people here. Knowing they have my back, it helps. You certainly keep interesting company. I suppose I do as well. Let me guess, you're composing a love poem. I couldn't, not even if my life depended on it. 
is not that hard. Yes, it is. Poetry takes finesse. It takes... grace. You think you don't have those things? Historians will one day ask what happened at Adamant Fortress, in the Fade. I was there. I saw it with my own eyes. It must be recorded. That's an excellent idea, Cassandra. I certainly thought so, until I started writing. I still don't know what to say about the Spirit of the Divine. I saw her there, heard her voice, yet I cannot claim with certainty it was really her. The Chantry teaches us that the souls of the dead pass through the Fade, so it could have been her, yet even so. I don't know the truth any more than you do. Sadly, unanswered questions make for poor reading. When I realized we were physically in the Fade, I was terrified, almost beyond reason. The last time such a thing happened, we created Darkspawn. We created Corypheus. The world needs to know the truth this time. No more legends lost to the ages. <coughs> Again. <sighs> Again. <sighs> uh, come on! This is why the Kuhn doesn't like women fighting. I should have asked Cullen. Uh, good one. <sighs> Perhaps you can take over. Kunari training exercise to master your fear. I heard about the nightmare at Adamant. Sounded big. All right. There we go. Oh, yeah. Damn demon. Who's stuck in the fade, huh? So we're working out your fear with a stick. Less talking, more hitting. Piece of fade, piece of crap! And who killed you? That's right! Iron fucking ball! I needed that. Thanks, boss. And that works for you? Yep. All right, then. Heard what went on in that Fade thing. What you think went on. Can't even start to believe that business. It's hard to describe. Guess you had to be there. No friggin' thanks. Some people are still there. Hawk, yeah? Lost a champion. And in trade. A busted down bunch of wardens. And they're always weird. Usually bad stuff happens first, so you're glad when the hero shows up. But wardens are the wrong way round. They're the good thing that means a bad thing is about to happen. Like in Denerim, when the blight ended. Someone has to have a plan. How else do you fight something that big? Is it planning when legends show up? That's what they used to be. Just stories about griffons and stuff. I wonder what other made-up rubbish is just someone's plan we don't know about. Could do with less. Blackwall's nice, though. Different from the adamant ones. Need more like him. But you like demons! I enjoy the company of spirits, yes, which is part of why I do not abuse them with bindings. It isn't abuse if I ask. Not always true. Also, I do not practice blood magic, which renders this entire conversation academic. He won't bind me. He's a mage and he likes demons, but he won't help. We just saw the Grey Wardens try to raise an army of demons. You want Solus to bind you. He has to! If Solus won't do the ritual to bind me, someone else could. Will. Like the Warden Mages, and then... 
I'm not me anymore. Walls around what I want. Blocking, bleeding, making me a monster. There has to be some middle ground between do nothing and bind coal with blood magic. Indeed. I recall stories of amulets used by Raveni seers to protect spirits they summoned from rival mages. A spirit, wearing an amulet of the Unbound, was immune to blood magic and binding. It should protect coal as well. The resources of the Inquisition could be used to find such a talisman. Good. They will not take me. I understand you have spared the Grey Wardens from destroying what goodwill was left them. Tis good of you, considering the weakness Corypheus exploited was their own doing. Still, should a true Archdemon one day arise, they will no doubt be needed. Or so they would have us believe. One thing which makes me curious, did you encounter the hero of Ferelden at Adamant Fortress? Was the hero of Ferelden a friend of yours? We traveled together during the time he fought the Blight. I helped him, and he helped me. Without him, Kieran would never have been born. Regardless, did you see him? I have no idea, Morrigan. There was a great deal of chaos. He's not the sort of man to fade into the background. If he was there, you would have known. When the Champion of Kirkwall mentioned a Grey Warden ally, I assumed that ally would be he. It was, after all, just the sort of thing in which he would involve himself. But that rather begs the question, if the hero of Ferelden was not at Adamant, where is he? My suggestion? Track him down. He could be a great aid against Corypheus, or a terrible foe to the Inquisition. It's very soon, Inquisitor. Trust me when I say that wherever the Alluvian is hidden, it is worth any effort to prevent Corypheus from acquiring it. Did I ever tell you about the time Hawk was on a merchant guild hit list? <sighs> Hawk's uncle got into an investment scheme with a couple of merchant caste businessmen. They took a lot of people's coin in order to arrange the import of wandering hills from the Anderfells. A, a delicacy, I'm told. Their weird foreign foodstuffs arrived alive, and one of them, true to its name, wandered off in the middle of the night. <sighs> Shit. The guild uh, traced the shipments to Hawk's uncle, but uh, as usual, he was so far in debt he couldn't see daylight. So they went after Hawk instead. They sent guys from the local Carter to Hawk's estate one night. Five big dusters, armed to the teeth. They kicked in the door, and Hawk was just standing there, fully armed, with me and the guard captain on either side. Nobody even said a word. The poor sods just looked at Hawk, looked at the captain, and dropped their weapons. Ah, they never came back. Hawk just... had that effect on people. I... I always wanted to tell that one. Thanks. I guess I've got some letters to write. Isabella should know. Excuse me. Someone I knew once described Adamant to me. Adamant is, and always will be, the Order, he said. A guardian on the edge of the Abyss. The lone soul that stares into oblivion and doesn't waver. That's what Warden Commander Clorel tried to be. Well, they all tried to be. I'm told her Wardens never wavered. They went to their deaths, willingly. They died for... us and Corypheus twisted their sacrifice to make it his own. Clorel thought she was the only one who could save the world. She was arrogant. But her intentions were pure. Her desire to protect was so great it led her astray. It's not right. 
to want to do good, to be good, and have that turned against you. Don't think of what went wrong. Think of their intentions, their sacrifice. Honor their selflessness. Clarelle made mistakes, but she was a great woman. And she died a great woman. It's not the armor or the trappings of the Order. It's not the... joining. At the heart of it, all a Warden is, is a promise. To protect others, even at the cost of your own life. Want a drink? I've a hankering for company. When I was a boy, there were these urchins who roamed the streets near my father's house. One day they found a dog, a wretched little thing. It came to them for food. I caught it, tied a rope around its neck, and strung it up. Do you know what I did? Not the fireside tale I was expecting, Blackwall. Just listen. I did nothing. Not a damn thing. It was crying. I saw the kicking legs. The neck straining and twisting, and I turned around, went inside, and closed the door. I could have told my father, or alerted someone. I didn't. I just pretended it wasn't happening. You couldn't have been the only one there. No one else stepped in. Doesn't make what I did any less wrong. I may as well have tied the noose myself. We... could make the world better. It's just easier to shut our eyes. When we first met, you were saving peasants from demons and outlaws. You're not a man who shuts his eyes. A little insane, maybe? Of course you'd make light of it. You make saving the world look easy. The rest of us can only dream of matching what you've done. Don't you see? It's not just about what happened back then. There's always some dog out there. Some fucking mongrel that doesn't know how to stay away. The Spy Master has confirmed it. Blackwall is gone. Go on. Liliana knows where he is, doesn't she? She knows everything. She doesn't know everything, yet. Sister Leliana had us search the Warden's quarters. Not much to find, except this. It was missing from last week's reports. I don't know what Blackwall's interest in this particular matter is, but it could be a good place to start. Surprise no one. Fortunately, I can assist. I'll ignore that you wandered in without knocking. You have my attention. What Corypheus seeks in those forgotten woods is as ancient as it is dangerous. Which is? It is best if I show you. This is an Illuvian, an elven artifact from a time long before their empire was lost to human greed. I restored this one at great cost, but another lies within the Arbor Wilds. That is what Corypheus seeks. You can restore an artifact like this? There was a price, but one I gladly paid. I found legends of an elven temple within the Arbor Wilds. The 
If this place once had a name, it has long been lost. I call it the Crossroads, a place where all Illuvians join, wherever they might be. Or unusable, as for the rest. Flesh, like Corypheus wanted to do with the Anchor. He learned of the Illuvian in the Arbor Wilds, as I did, Threat Inquisitor. We must work together to stop him, and soon. I actually have relatives in Navarra. If you reason with the Archon, the Trevelyans can persuade King Marcus we should help both countries. Letting the Inquisition curry favor with both Tevinter and Navarra. Most ideal. We need to deal with this. As long as he has this source, Corypheus is that much more powerful. I couldn't agree more. I'll keep an eye on their operation. If you're interested in shutting it down, you've got my help. Probably little here on early to winter history. All these gifts to the Inquisition, and the best they can do is the Malefica Imperio. Trite propaganda. But if you want 20 volumes on whether Divine Galatea took a shit on Sunday, this is evidently the place to find it. I see. My library isn't up to your exacting standards. It's alarmingly chaotic. I found a copy of the Orobalian in what seemed to be the Antiven Classic section. How scandalous. Someone alert the Magisterium. You laugh, but in some places there are punishments for that. Did I see something by Genitivi here? I could have sworn. What is this about, Dorian? When everyone returned, they told us about your tumble into the Abyssal Rift. You went into the Fade. Physically went in. Are you... all right? Org is gone. The Fade is an ordeal under normal circumstances. To be the only real thing there, beyond description. That you made it out at all is a miracle. You do realize this feat hasn't been performed in over a thousand years. Corypheus and his contemporaries entered the Fade and began the Blights, in comparison. So I should be happy I accomplished something so grand. Concerned, more like. If you can walk in the Fade, others will try to follow. Who knows what secrets Corypheus has revealed? Not all of them will be as lucky as you. What they could unleash. My advice? Keep this quiet. Let them speculate. Too many will see this as a challenge. That's a good idea. There are enough idiots in the world who think if they just use enough blood magic, their problems will vanish. It's exactly the sort of thing I want to stop back home. This... this I don't need. What I do need is a copy of the Liberalum. I'll wager I can find Corypheus's real name. If I can prove he was a grasping ankle bite with no family to speak of, the luster would come right off. Wish me luck. I know you must have a great deal on your mind right now, but I need to speak with you. You know as well as I how far the Inquisition's influence has spread, and how desperate the Grand Clerics have become. Our opinion will be instrumental in their election of the new Divine. Dead people usually don't send messages. And I see you feel it necessary to inform me of this. Just as I remember it. You didn't tell me you'd been here before. The hero of Ferelden and I came here after the Blight to visit Justinia. She was just Dorothea then, a revered mother. I didn't expect it to be so... deserted. It makes me uneasy. It's a small village and it's too early for the chant. I'm sure the sisters are somewhere. Liliana, is that you? Sister Natalie, what are you doing here? 
I thought you were in Val Rayo. No. I've been here since Justinia died. This place makes me feel like... like she's still with us. Inquisitor, this is Natalie, a trusted friend. Wait, Inquisitor? You... you brought the Inquisitor here? My lord, forgive me for not recognizing you earlier. You owe me 20 readings of the Canticle of Trials for that insult. He doesn't mean it. Natalie, listen. There is something hidden here. Something Justinia left for me. Oh, really? What is it? I don't know. Sorry to keep you waiting. Good old Leliana was playing you the whole time. Didn't you realize? They never sing the benedictions here on Fridays, Natalie. Something so simple. And you got it so wrong. I wanted to believe, but you were lying from the start. Keep that pretty mouth shut if you must, dear. You've already told me everything I need to know. The prickle with burrs on your hem, talking about the sun rising through the breach. It all points to a single place. Morel in the Dells, Grand Cleric Victoire's Bastion. She sent you, didn't she? Victoire was always an opportunist. If we let her go, she'll just run off to her cleric, won't she? Likely. Kill me then. I am not afraid to die for my beliefs. At least I still know what I believe. This has to be done. You know it. I see what you've become. The righteous stand before the darkness, and the Maker shall guide them. <laughs> be it? There's nothing here. Check again. Perhaps the box itself is a puzzle. She seemed the puzzling sort. No, it's just... it's just an empty box. There's a message carved in the lid. The left hand should lay down her burden. She... she's releasing me. The Divine has a long reach, but it is always her left hand that stretches out. A thousand lies, a thousand deaths. Her commands, but my conscience that bore the consequences. Sacrifices are necessary. You know that. I know. And hearing you agree gives me the courage to do what must be done. Justinia tried to save me. But all it's done is made me realize I don't need saving. There is work to be done. I'll see you back at Skyhold. Lord Firmin? She dotes on him. Yes, mistress. I believe that is so. Good. Have him collected. He shall be an honored guest, and make sure the Grand Cleric hears about it. At your command. You're dealing with the Grand Cleric a little harshly, don't you think? Harsh times call for harsh measures, Inquisitor. You see, when I'm ruthless, it gets us where we need to be. It's something to be proud of. Why fix it? How funny that her regret is what finally puts my own to rest. I chose to become her left hand, knowing what it meant. It was my weakness that stopped me from fully committing to my task. Well then, I suppose that's that. The Inquisition needs me just as the Divine did, to do what no one else dares. Death and deception are my trade. It is what I am.
It is what I always will be. What we learned at Adamant concerns me. The hero Ferelden and I have been together for years. I nearly lost him to the Archdemon. He is looking for a way to stop the calling from taking him, as it does every Grey Warden. But if Corypheus has power over the Wardens, my love could be in danger. What would you like to do? I do not know where the hero Ferelden is precisely, but I know how to get a message to him. He may have information that helps the Inquisition. At worst, it will do no harm. I will draw up a plan in the War Room. Thank you. <laughs> That's the last time we sent Cassandra to interrogate. You found one of the amulets. Excellent. May I? It is simple enough. You put it on, I charge it with magic, and you should be protected. We know it's not just going to work, right? It never just works. Have faith, Inquisitor. Ah! What was that? Oh, for... What are you doing to the kid? Stopping blood mages from binding me like the demons at Adamant. But it didn't work. Something is interfering with the enchantment. Something like Cole not being a demon? I'm not certain exactly what Cole is. Regardless of Cole's special circumstances, he remains a spirit. Yes, a spirit who is strangely like a person. I don't matter. Just lock away the parts of me that someone else could not together to make me follow. Focus on the amulet. Tell me what you feel. Warm, soft blanket covering, but it catches tears. I'm the wrong shape. There's uh, something. There. That way. It appears we have something to find. I told you it never just works. All right, kid. Get Cullen and work with him on the map to figure out where you're sensing something wrong. Will you come with me? All of you? Sure. All right, I get it. You like spirits. But he came into this world to be a person. Let him be one. Cole is a demon, or a spirit. He has magical abilities and magical vulnerabilities. We cannot ignore that. Fair enough. But that ritual of theirs only works on demons, right? This is not some fanciful story, child of the stone. We cannot change our nature by wishing. You don't think? However we deal with the problem, our next step is to track down whatever is interfering with the enchantment. Yeah, this should get me through the month. But give me a moment. Greetings. Can I help you? You. Killed me. What? I don't. I don't even know you. You forgot. You locked me in the dungeon in the spire, and you forgot, and I died in the dark. The, the spire. Cole, stop. Just take it easy, kid. He killed me. He killed me. That's why it doesn't work. He killed me, and I have to kill him back. If he killed you, wouldn't you be dead? Cole, this man cannot have killed you. You are a spirit. You have not even possessed a body. 
A broken body, bloody, banged on the stone cell, guts gripping in the dark, dank. A captured apostate. They threw him into the dungeon in the spire at Valroyo. They forgot about him. He starved to death. I came through to help. And I couldn't. So I became him. Cole. If Cole was an apostate, that'd make the guy we just saw a Templar. Must have been buying lyrium. Let me kill him. I need to... I need to. Cole needs to let this go. I believe I can help. Cole, come with me. Not possible. Not possible. Can you feel this man's pain, Cole? He remembers now. He knows he killed me. No. Feel his pain. His guilt. The shame that drove him from the Templars. Don't worry, we'll erase his records. They clap me on the shoulder, smell of oiled metal and blood. They smile like Louis did when he made me drown the kittens. Laughter bounces off the walls like a thin child's fist. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. He's hurting, Cole. And you are a spirit of compassion. Forget. <laughs> I believe we are finished here. You all right, kid? Yes. He's free. We're both free. ...to be working. Cole should be adequately protected. Have you talked to him since? Have you heard what he sounds like? He sounds like a spirit. Nonsense words, like Bartrand at the end. Just need to hear the song again, just for a minute. I'm all right, Varric. That? What am I supposed to do with that? He can still focus when necessary. He is merely liberated from his self-enforced mortality. You're not still angry with the man who hurt you? No, I helped him forget. His pain no longer pulls at me. A woman with two names slips a knife in darkness to her left hand. Honey stirred into Leliana's wine. Faith, not revenge. Could have been a person. Possibly. Would that have made him happier, Child of the Stone? Inquisitor, you honor us with your presence. Will you be dining alone, your worship, or will others be arriving later? Who can tell these days? I didn't even realize I was alone just now. Very good, your worship. Right this way, please. Please enjoy your meal this evening, your worship. You can tell her. She'll laugh and then do it because she loves you. She wants to make you happy. Anything you'd like to share? He wants his wife to tie his hands to the bedposts. 
little silk ribbons. He worries she'll hate him. She only said it because she was jealous of your shoes. Remember his hand on your waist as the music swelled. So many little hurts, even here, away from blood and battle. I wouldn't have heard them before. Now I can, thanks to you. It was my pleasure. Remember old Maurice, too proud to forgive, gnarled hands clutching the back of an empty chair? Find another path. There was someone, before. He was my friend, but he didn't know what I was. When he found out, he changed. I lost him. You found out, but you didn't change. Didn't make me change. You let me be this, be more. Thank you for helping me find this again. For believing in me. You don't know what it means. Not really, no. But you're welcome regardless. You don't need to. It used to help, but it doesn't anymore. Let it go. You were scared. Trying to show them you were strong. Find him. Tell him you're sorry. The woman in the red dress thinks you would look good naked. She wants someone to compliment her hat. They will never know. But I know, thanks to you. Cyril Mornay, for your crimes against the Empire of Orlais. For the murders of General Vincent Callier, Lady Lorette Callier, their four children, and their retainers, you are sentenced to be hanged from the neck until dead. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Very well. Oh, this is grim. They're going to kill him. Not now, Cole. Proceed. Stop! A Grey Warden. This man is innocent of the crimes laid before him. Orders were given and he followed them like any good soldier. He should not die for that mistake. Then find me the man who gave the order. Oh, shit. Blackwall! No, I am not Blackwall. I never was Blackwall. Warden Blackwall is dead, and has been for years. I assumed his name to hide like a coward from who I really am. You, after all this time. It's over. I'm done hiding. I gave the order. The crime is mine. I am Tom Rainier. I didn't take Blackwall's life. I traded his death. He wanted me for the Wardens, but there was an ambush. Darkspawn. He was killed. I took his name to stop the world from losing a good man. But a good man, the man he was, wouldn't have let another die in his place. You saved that man. That took courage. Courage? I killed innocent people. Destroyed Mornay's life and the lives of others like him. One moment of courage will not make up for that. 
Why are you here? That depends on what you say. Don't you understand? I gave the order to kill Lord Callier, his entourage, and I lied to my men about what they were doing. When it came to light, I ran. Those men, my men, paid for my treason while I was pretending to be a better man. This is what I am. A murderer, a traitor, a monster. Would a monster have given himself up? Somewhere along the line, you stopped pretending. I have Liliana's report on Tom Rainier. Let me guess. Our spymaster had this lying around somewhere, didn't she? It would have been difficult for anyone to connect Blackwall to Rainier. Even Liliana has something of a blind spot when it comes to wardens. <sighs> what do we do now? Blackwall... Rainier has accepted his fate, but you don't have to. We have resources. If he's released to us, you may pass judgment on him yourself. Have Rainier released to us. We must move quickly. We can explore our options back at Skyhold. Inquisitor. Finally. I started to think you weren't coming. Nobody said you had to hang out in the creepy cave while you waited. Well, I did wait, so let's make this quick. These idiots are carrying the Red Lyrium out in unprotected containers. We don't want to stick around long enough for to start talking to us. We'd better get to work. Sounds good to me. I built these doors. They probably shut this one from the other side when they heard the ruckus we were making. Ta-da! Admit it, you've been waiting to do that since we arrived. <laughs> of course I was. After you.
Be able to use this entrance again. Bianca. You want to say something, Varric? Andraste ass, Bianca. You're the leak? When I got the location, I went and had a look for myself. And I found the red lyrium and I studied it. You know what it does to people. I was doing you a favor. You want to help your brother, don't you? I just wanted to figure it out. You could have been killed, or worse. And for what? Knowledge! You're not gonna beat Corypheus with ignorance. I found out that Red Lyrium... It has the Blight, Varric. Do you know what that means? What? The two deadly things combined to form something super awful? Lyrium is alive, or something like it. Blight doesn't infect minerals, only animals. I couldn't get any further on my own, so I looked for a Grey Warden Mage. Blight and magical expertise in one, right? And I found this woman, Jonica. She seemed really eager to help with my research. So I gave her a key. Janica? The warden who was trying to control Corypheus? Maker's breath. I knew something seemed off. I didn't realize until you said you found Red Lyrium at Haven. I came here and, well, then I went to you. You told Varric you had a lead, so we'd straighten out your mistake. I know I screwed up, but we did fix it. It's as right as I can make it. This isn't one of your machines. You can't just replace a part and make everything right. No, but I can try, can't I? Or am I supposed to wallow in my mistakes forever, kicking myself, telling stories of what I should have done? Ha! As if I would tell stories about my own mistakes. The Red Lyrium is out. Closing this entrance won't undo that. Uh, we've done all we can here. Bianca, you'd better get home before someone misses you. Varric. Don't worry about it. Get him killed, and I'll feed you your own eyeballs, Inquisitor. They were. As you see, the Inquisition has not been idle. Would it be possible to meet the Herald before we return to Ghislaine? My dear Laurent, for you, anything. Allow me to present Inquisitor Trevelyan. Your Worship, you do us great honor. Inquisitor, this is my dear Bastien's sister, Grand Cleric Marceline, and his son, Duke Laurent of the Council of Heralds. Madame de Fer has told us what great trials you faced, trying to save my poor brother's life. The Maker called my father to his side. It was valiant of you to champion him in his final hours. Only I'd been able to save Bastien. The Circle of Magi told Bastien many years ago that his illness was incurable. It was simply his time. 
Would you mind waiting for me in the chapel, my dears? The Inquisitor and I have business to discuss. It has been our very great pleasure, Harold. This has been quite the triumph, hasn't it? They just adore you. Duke Bastian's family seem quite pleasant. Ordinarily, I would have warned you that Marceline has the temper of a hungry vulture, but she's quite taken with you. Laurent is a dear, almost as pious as his aunt, and new to a seat of great power in the Empire. And Marceline is one of the strongest voices among the Grand Clerics. Now they will both come to us for advice. The Inquisition is truly a power now, and there's no telling how far its influence will reach. But enough of this talk. Here, I have something for you. I commissioned this ring from the Formari, the greatest enchanters in all Thedas, for you. And what comes attached to this ring, may I ask? The friendship of all the Circle, should you need it. Once it was customary for the Circles to craft enchantments for their staunchest friends and allies. And you have been both. I must go to see my guests now. Another time, darling. I'm glad to have answers, but... Shit! The second she showed up here, I knew. I just... I let this mess happen. I gave her the tig. I am not good at dealing with shit like this. You managed to talk your way out of most things. That's what I do, isn't it? If Cassandra hadn't dragged me here, I'd be in Kirkwall right now, pretending none of this was happening. You know that's not true. You've worked as hard as any of us to stop Corypheus. Is that true? I don't even know anymore. Thank you. For your help back there. After all this, do you think you'll see Bianca again? I always do.